Who does this even benefit? What is this? Is this is this fake money or something? Oh, it's oh, it's a it's like an ad for 2024 for that orange man. That, the Secret Service may be interested in this because they're the ones involved in the whole, you know, what you can make look like cash. And only two things are supposed to look like cash that aren't cash. And that's the high detail money that's printed on one side and blank on the other. And the low detail money that's for also for film use that says in film we trust, etc. And, and you know, is, is a joke. This is a uh, this is uh, walking on a tightrope. I guess optional doesn't actually mean optional. Please take a moment to tell us why you chose to unsubscribe. Optional. I know I'm I'm good. Please select a response. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I never signed up for your emails. That's not fruit. It's just printed on the container. Full and empty. Oh. I'd say this this falls under deceptive advertising. The block button is just a dot. I had to use my computer to notice it. We'd like to show you notifications for the latest news and updates. Wow. This must not be the native Chrome dialog box then. It must be a fake one that they're popping up on the website. Because a website can't modify Chrome's built-in notifications. My mother went in for a $42 oil change, but came out spending $420. Nice. Your oil was darker than normal. We suggest you get our fuel injector service before your car breaks down. Okay, a new oil filter, some synthetic oil, oil labor. All that seems pretty reasonable. Some additional oil, uh, an engine air filter. Why are we swapping out the air filter? Intake maintenance kit, standard alignment on top of the fuel injector. You didn't ask for any of this stuff. BG, better oil cleaning change kit. Wow, they just upsold you on everything. I, I, I don't even think that's your fault. Even if they said they were just doing the fuel injector, they didn't mention anything about changing your air filter. Doing an alignment, like air filter might be part of the fuel injector is... Uh, but the alignment has absolutely nothing to do with this. Everyone is hating on Edge, but Adobe keeps on putting itself back on my desktop over and over. If you check your users folder, and uh, used to be all users, I think it's now default user, check the desktop folder there and try to delete the shortcut from there. I think this is also an option in the updater that you might need to uncheck. I just use Edge as a PDF viewer now, and I like some of Adobe's stuff. Free tax filing software uh, as a pop-up asking for money with no closing option and zero is not an acceptable option. Wow. Oh, that's, that, that's, that's weird and, and definitely our sole design. I will say if you're using free tax filing software, at least in the US, just be careful. If, if a piece of software is completely free and promises to totally take your social security number and treat it safely and securely and send it to the, the government and totally treat all this information with security, like, mm. Okay, if you say so. Imagine you try to unsubscribe from this newsletter in a hurry. The only button visible here is, I don't want to change anything. And the other lines are just hyperlinks. Managing preferences, blah, blah, blah. I love this company. You can communicate with me whenever you like. I no longer wish to receive any form of communication, unsubscribing. I'm guessing that's the link. It's, it's a little weird. And according to the Can Spam Act, it's supposed to be a single click. Like when you click unsubscribed, it's supposed to have already unsubscribed you. That page you land on is basically, would you like to resubscribe? But it's supposed to be done. And a lot of companies I've seen bend in the rules on that. Straight up lie. Eclipse absolute zero 100% blackout. Two absolute blackout pod, oh sorry, rod pocket panels. Wait, the white part, <gasps> what? I use blackout curtains for to sleep because I work night shifts. I'd be so pissed if that... That is nowhere near 100%. Like, yes, you have bleed around the top and, and bottom, but it's coming right through the curtain. Outlook injecting ads disguised as unread emails at the top of my inbox. This this one I have problems with. Like, if there's any place you should not be putting ads, it, it should be in an email list. <laughs> That's just infuriating. That's the fastest way for me to move to, to a third-party email client. The Dutch Starbucks website has to process the rejection of non-essential cookies, which takes over a minute. Wow. I mean, at this point, I just wouldn't visit the website anymore. Be like, fine, you're gonna get that aggressive over cookies. I'm just not even gonna do business with you. This number of people supposedly viewing the page is just a random number generator. Oh my God. I, I swear Etsy and eBay do this too, because I looked up like very obscure electronic parts on eBay and they've been like, you know, four viewed in the last hour. I was like, I'm pretty sure only four people in the world need this part right now. And I'm pretty sure not all of them are on eBay right this second. 
Yeah, the variable number is math.floor math.random times 12 plus 3. So it creates a, a random uh, number, multiplies it by 12, and then adds 3 to it at any given point so that it's it's always something. It's always a, a positive value. That is wild. Uber's 40% discount. 40% promotion applied. That's... That's not, I'm doing, I'm doing back of my head math here, but that's not 40%. Yeah, that, that top one should be 33 bucks. I mean, if it's not 40%, don't tell the user it's 40%. Just say it's 20% or whatever it's, it is. That ain't right. Same shop, same keyboard, different prices. Why? The left one was opened through a price comparison website. The other one directly through searching the shop's website. They're basically taxing people that don't compare prices online. Oh my God, why is there so much yellow? Oh God, crappy design. I didn't expect to see you here. All right, we have 66. Is that your own? That's a weird font. And on the right, 83. Wait, so it's cheaper. Read this again. Uh, the other one directly through searching the shop's website. The one on the left. So they actually give discounts to people searching. I think it would be the opposite way around. If you come directly to us and we don't have to pay for ads or anything, we'll make it cheaper. But if you go through a price comparison website that, you know, we have to pay to get promoted on, it's going to be more expensive. I guess at that point they could just send out coupon codes. That's a weird one. I'm going to have to watch for that. Kmart Australia decided to glue cracked headphones. I don't think they will allow me to return it. You can literally see the glue. First question, Kmart still exists? I used to love them when I was a kid, but like they, they basically fell apart when I was in middle school. So like, I'm surprised they're still around. But anyways, this is less arsehole design and more just crappy customers, crappy business practices. At least here, um, most of the Kmarts are basically abandoned, empty husks of their former selves. I'm surprised they had headphones in the middle. Now with crappy paper straw. Oh God, wrapped in plastic. How are you supposed to stab through the top of a juice box with a paper straw? Also, kids throw away the rest of the juice box. Or adults, I don't judge. Yoohoo in a juice box still tastes better than than like Yoohoo in, in the cans. Yeah, paper straws are the one, one thing I can't get on board with. I just, just, it's, no, I hate it. I hate these crappy plug designs so much. Why do companies do this? It's it's not so much the companies. It's kind of a combination of things. Um, transformers, the things inside of these adapters, vary in size based on what they're actually doing. And they can be minimized, but the cost goes up a lot for, for what, what you would want to do. And even then, it mainly consists of turning them sideways and you get those sort of vertical PCB types that you see on the left and right. Manufacturers just kind of have to take the best guess as to what kind of surge protector you're going to be using because some surge protectors have all of the ground pins pointed to the right or they have them all pointed down. There's no real standard for any of this, nor do I think there should be because it's it's just too, too much, too little of an issue. Uh, you can get uh, six inch extension cords, which I found are great for this kind of stuff. Squid uh, surge protectors, which have like five or six outlets, but they're all on separate tiny extension cords. Or the best solution I found is get a surge protector with rotary plugs on both sides, and then you can rotate them to whatever orientation you need and uh, and use all the plugs at once. But yeah, it's it's nobody's fault. It's They just kind of do the best they can. And if you need something that is 24 volts or something like that, like the adapter is just going to be big. It's not... It's not going to get any smaller. You have the audacity to be poor, so we're going to charge you more money. Choosing to pay for your policy monthly means you'll pay more for your insurance. This is because uh, your payments will include our interest charges. Huh. So, so what I'm seeing here is that this might be for like car insurance or something. Car insurance I know is biannual. So in this case, it sounds like they are offering a monthly option by lending you the money and you pay them back monthly. In which case you can compare the interest rate that they're offering you to an interest rate on a credit card to see if maybe it's cheaper to put it on a credit card. But yeah, if, if the payment is due once every six months and you want to pay for it monthly, you're you're borrowing money. And also none of this is, no, this is really our sole design. I feel like uh, we're, we're getting into like customer service stuff and I, uh, I'm i sorry for all the stories. Yes, it feels stupid. But if it's, it's, if it's a biannual thing and you want to pay it monthly, you're borrowing money. I don't know. I, had to, I did the same thing. I, except I put stuff on credit cards when I was in college because like I didn't have the actual money to pay for it yet. And then I just paid down the credit card. Only possible to unsubscribe from emails by sending a physical letter. If you no longer want emails from me, unsubscribe here. Park Avenue South. 
Park Avenue. Good Lord. PMB. Personal mailbox? New York, New York. One zero zero. Okay, all right. This sounds like the one of those rental mailbox companies. Ah, uh, if this is in the U.S., this is illegal. This is straight up illegal. There's a website somewhere to report them. But we have the Can Spam Act for a reason. It's supposed to be single click. It means unsubscribe. I can. I've seen it go up to like two or three clicks. But uh, yeah, you, you can't just say you have to marry a little mail letter. Just show up there myself and unsubscribe. <laughs> Anyways, imagine paying $250 and not being able to turn off ads. This is the only time I ever threw away a perfectly functional electronic device. I got a Fire TV stick for like five bucks on some Black Friday thing, I don't remember. Uh, we plugged it in, we used it for probably three or four months. It updated in the middle of the night and there were banner ads everywhere when I fired it up the next day. And I was like, no, no, you did not just send me a, a machine to serve me ads for five bucks. And I threw it out. Like I just pulled it out and just chucked it. I then, I later looked up to see if there was any way to like jailbreak it, to use it for anything. And it, I, there wasn't anything at the time. There might be more now. I regretted it because I felt really, that was a really stupid thing. But we just went back to using a Chromecast, which was working just fine, and a Roku. And between the two of those, we didn't get ads. If I buy a device, I should be able to decide whether or not there are ads on it. If you're gonna put ads on it, you better provide a discount, a really heavy discount on the device. HP have updated their printers to outright ban non-HP ink. Oh, they no longer show the uh, can't guarantee quality message, but instead cancels your print completely until you insert an HP ink cartridge. After contacting HP, they advised this is due to the recent update of all printers. Yeah, unfortunately at this point, uh, HP used to be okay for like their the last of their laser jets. At this point, switch to Canon. Their printers are very slightly more expensive, but work great. They're fine. Brother lasers, also great. Uh, if you really need color, I think Brother has some color lasers. So, but yeah, Brother or Canon at this point. HP has just swirled the drain to its last drop. Michaels, a couple of weeks to be removed from their mailing list. That is BS. Unless they have somebody manually reviewing it, uh, and that person comes in every few weeks. In which case, that sounds like a gravy job. <laughs> Why does Amazon allow this? Identical products from the same Chinese factory with just a randomly generated name printed on the outside. I have many questions about the brand names I see from uh, supposedly they are actual like registered company names, but yeah, all of them are just white labeling stuff from AliExpress. If you do a bit of digging, you can sometimes even find them without any labeling at all, which I always just felt like it was a kind of a fun sport. But I mean, from Amazon's perspective, yeah, this is the same thing. Just like if five different companies are selling a 12 volt power adapter they got shipped over from China and just stamped their own name on it. It's not illegal. It's There's nothing really wrong with it. It's annoying, but it's, it's two different sellers trying to make money off the same thing. This program was using 100% of my CPU power. Protected search, my default search provider. I wonder if this is like a crypto miner. With the CPU usage, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeet it from thy computer. I shouldn't need to download an app to recycle. Does the thing not open if you don't? Wow, that seems like an unnecessary amount of infrastructure. Maybe they're trying to 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 clamp down on people like throwing random crap into it. I, I don't know. I don't know what the justification is for this. Red is on and green is off. I feel like this is deliberate to try and trick you into turning tracking on. Oh, I've seen this before. It, it, mm, it kind of makes sense to me. Red is danger. Green is safe. So, so I, 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 I it could go either way. Wife bought this no touch thermometer without realizing it's a disposable device with a non-replaceable batteries. The packaging even instructs you to discard it when it stops working. I pried it open and it's powered by two quadruple A batteries, uh, which are very easily replaceable. Yeah. Yeah. As long as the batteries aren't soldered. Oh, no, no, that's, that's a battery case. Why did they do this? Maybe it. The only justification, again, I try to, I try to find the reason for these things. It might, it might be medical device, sterility, throw it away when you're done. That's a very big thing in medical and I get it. It's very, yes, it is wasteful, but it's also safe. But at that point, you'd think that it would only be like single use or single site use. I don't know. But yeah, you can get quadruple A's pretty easily. They're used in a, like the pens at the, for a, art tablets and stuff like that. TV replay transforming into a giant and permanent ad display for snacks when paused. I don't know what a TV replay is. Is this like a built-in DVR where you could, it, it's constantly recording the TV signal and you go back a little, 
Yikes. Our LG TV started uh, randomly opening the Alexa app, but I hadn't agreed to the Alexa app terms and conditions or allowed it to open in the first place. I hadn't agreed to any of it. So it just kept opening it at randomly every like 10 minutes or so. And I nearly yanked that thing off our network because I was like, no, die. Apple forcing me to use an Apple device to reset my Apple ID password from my Android phone. Eh. I don't like it, but also it does require a serial number, etc., to be transmitted along with your sign-in. So there's a good audit trail as to who exactly reset your password. So I kind of like that from a security standpoint, but yeah, it's kind of a stupid. I mean, you could go, yeah, you could go to an Apple store, but I like that it's this hard to reset your password for somebody else, you know, so that somebody, although my wife reset her Apple password recently and it was, it was on a Windows computer. So I don't know. If you don't want me to ever return to your website, just ask, please answer the question above to read the rest of the article. I don't know what the question above is, but uh, if it's not, do you find this annoying? Ah, uh, we're leaving. Goodbye. Appeared after trying to draw a straight line. I'm going back to good notes. Ruler, a plus feature, draw precise lines in your notes. I don't know what app this is. This sounds awful. $14 yearly. 14 euro yearly. This does look like it's CAD software and uh, you're taking like regular notes in CAD software. So I, I don't know what's up. I don't have a degree in math or anything, but subtotal $180. Flat rate shipping free, save 40% on first prescription auto ship. Minus $50. A lot, a lot of companies can't figure out what 40% uh, is, but, but okay. Giving the benefit of the doubt, maybe it's auto, maybe one of the prescriptions in their card is auto ship and the rest aren't. Like maybe one of these can't be automatically refilled. That's that's all I got. Check out the subject line. I didn't order anything. It's just an email about their sale. It did make me panic and think that someone ordered something on my account though. Hey Maddie, thanks for your order. Wow. Yeah, this is a really common phishing technique. Surprising, surprised that they're using it for like a place where they actually want people to shop. Cause, cause yeah, I just would never buy flowers from them again. <laughs> BBC Weather App for years never required an account. Over a month ago, they implemented this startup screen, but you still had an option to use it as guest, but not anymore. Well, that's, that's the end of that app. And then it died. This company using an AI voice cloner to make it seem like Elon Musk is promoting their product. Oh, that's, that's terrifying. I don't remember which it is, but libel or slander, one of those like impersonation maybe. I feel like there's a legal case to be made here. This, this booth sells $6 peanuts, not $6 beer. I taste better with beer, $6 peanuts. Okay, the peanuts is closer to the $6 than the beer. Uh, but, but yeah, I see what they're doing here. Having to complete lessons to gain vision. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Unlock dark mode. Oh, wow. I would leave the site and never come back. That's, that's terrible. I work night shift. Nighttime is the only time I'm awake. This should be illegal. In the meantime, never buying again. Okay, the thing doesn't fill the box, but I don't, I don't know what it, oh, it's oatmeal. And they only give you like half the box, is it? Oh, it does say four packs. Wow. Yeah, I had read an article somewhere where like, they, they're, they're like, keeping boxes the same size, but filling them with less product for inflation reasons or something. The world's a scary place. Be careful out there. Ad I got on Muzi Dr. Phil continues to sink lower and lower. Dr. Phil reveals a permanent cure for type, two, type 1 and 2 diabetes. Really? The FTC and the FDA would be very interested in that. A new discovery, blah, blah, no, no, no. Instantly cure type 1 and type... Wow. Restores normal blood sugar levels. You'll never need insulin again. Why is Dr. Phil promoting it? You don't know anything about medicine. <laughs> Why does so many sites require an account these days? I don't know, but I leave every single one. <laughs> like, you need an account. Okay, goodbye. Either I will find it somewhere else or it was not important enough for me to need in the first place. The only exceptions to this are sites that I really like or sites I have ordered something from because I want to be able to track that order later on. Thank you and goodbye. Because listing the pricing before I give you my info is so hard. Huh? What does Skillshare's cost? Get started for free. That wasn't my question. Uh, blah, blah, blah. To me more about membership pricing. Create an account. No, no, no. That wasn't one of my questions. How much is it? Wait, how much is Skillshare? I keep I hearing about it, but... Okay, according to an article I found, it's $168 a year, or about 14 bucks a month. And some people say there's a $32 a month monthly subscription. That is no longer offered. It's uh, only 168 annual. Okay. And then there's a 30% there's a off coupon that people find that makes it 117. Sorry, I... I can't imagine a business where they just won't tell you how much a product that you want is. Like, I would like to give you money for your services. How much money would you like me to give you? Well, 
why don't you try our services first and, and then no this is shady contractor pricing twitch will email you fake snippets from twitch chat as if people were talking about you what i know this is fake uh because i don't interact regularly enough in streams for anybody to remember me this is from twitch themselves i've never gotten one of these it might be because i'm, I'm a creator so like they, they don't care about me <laughs> That's, that's terrible. Not a single accessory sold at this Verizon store has price tags. Not even on the back of the items. If you have to ask, it's too expensive. Also, if they're from brands you've never heard of, don't buy them. It's all white label stuff from AliExpress. Dropbox telling me that I'm out of space immediately after creating an account. You're almost out of store. Did you put two gigs of stuff? On? <laughs> or no, it's you said it was a brand new account. That's wild. Yeah, it's acting like you have two gigs of stuff already on there. Weird. Do spam folders even work properly anymore? I don't know. I, do, I just keep reporting stuff. And sometimes it works. And sometimes it doesn't. Blocks intended to prevent homeless from sleeping on Kingsport benches spark controversy. If you have a bench and it is in public and you have somebody in public that can't afford a house, can't get into a shelter because they're full and you refuse to help them or find housing as the city, as the government, the only place that they can be is in public. If you are not going to have the benches be there for the use of the public, why is the bench there? Like, oh, yes, we, we want a bench for the use of the public, but not those public. We don't like those. They need help, and we're not going to give it to them. For private businesses, hostile architecture, like, I, I see the justification there. It's your own land. You could do whatever you want on it. But public property? Come on. Like, what the hell? My food order held hostage. The restaurant hasn't started because no drivers, and the restaurant has started, so no refunds. The, the, what, the, what, the, wait, 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 what? Are you sure you want to cancel this order? Assigning a driver. We'll have one soon. You don't have a driver, but 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 you can't cancel. Pay $48. $48! I have no idea what app this is. The only one I use is Uber Eats. So like, it might be DoorDash or something. I don't know. That is... Wow. You shouldn't be able to submit the order until you're sure a driver is ready to go. Like, hey, who... who, who I, I need a driver to pick up this food. Driver says, okay, sure. Restaurant, go for it. Cool, driver's on the way. Like, that's the logistics of this. Don't just accept the order. Actual battery capacity versus what is stated on the label. Oh, okay, so that's the battery case is on the right, which says it's 3.7 volt lithium ion battery, 900 milliamps. And that's 900 milliamp hours. That's like the capacity. And uh, over here we have, it's actually a 720 milliamp hour battery because lying is fun. They need to be careful doing this stuff like this. You can only bring a 99 watt hour battery onto planes and stuff. Like the battery descriptions have to be accurate. This is much smaller, but still you're playing, you're playing literally with fire here. <laughs> Sending stop does not stop. Block their number, block their number, block their number, because they don't care. They're just looking for somebody to respond. Advertisement pretends that you need to update your app to try to get you to click on it and go to the app store. New version, no, no, that's not even the right size or scaling or anything for an Apple notification. It's gotten to the point where I'm just suspicious of any app that has ads. Like if I can't pay $3 and just own the app, I most likely won't download it because it just skeeves me out. Air Arabia, subscribing you to emails after you unsubscribe. Your Air Rewards account update, uh, Air Arabia, dear customer, we noticed that you are unsubscribed from receiving our emails and are missing out on important information regarding your Air Rewards account. Kindly note that we have enabled your email ID again to receive all of, what? Stop receiving all of the emails, blah, 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 blah. Please click here to update your preferences. Wow. Like we unsubscribed you, but we're just gonna re just re resubscribe you again because it's important. No, <laughs> no the hell you're not. Making a question look like a claim. Freeze your fat away? No, the answer is always no. I heard an amazing quote ages ago. It was just like, if any like stupid headline or even just like some of you know, the more clickbaity YouTube thumbnails, if they ask a question, the answer is probably not. Is this the next best thing? N no, probably not. McAfee. Oh God, want to cancel? Definitely can't do that online. Only after we combine scare tactics and multiple holds to get you to back down. 18 minutes, good Lord. Yeah, it's been so aggressive. I had to rip it out of my in-laws computer and oh my God. Your bull driver can charge you more than you have agreed to pay if they choose to take a different route. Price higher than expected. 
I was sorry to hear that the final price was different from what you expected. Final price may increase if uh, there was heavy traffic. Parking airport toll feeds were added uh, to the price. You had extended stopovers during your trip. That one makes sense. So does the tolls. You charged the final, you changed the final destination mid-trip. The driver took a different route. There was a surge in the price due to high demand. Okay, surge pricing should be stated up front. Like not just while, it's just like, oh, you're already in the ride. Well, it's busy now. Sometimes I miss cabs. Got a notification from Twitch, a TurboTax ad. How, how, how did you, did TurboTax DM your Twitch account? How? I have so many questions. Thanks for spreading the awareness. The Amazon is on fire, but so are these memes. Oh, oh, that is, I mean, it's eye funny. So, you know, they're desperately <laughs> trying for relevance, but now we know what a death spiral looks like. This website forces you to use cookies despite giving you the option to decline beforehand. You have uh, denied cookies in advertising. We understand your choice. Unfortunately, Alpha Coders is an advertising supported website. Without them, uh, we can't operate the site. Okay, so the, the title was a little bit uh, misleading. They just, they don't allow people to move forward unless they have cookies enabled. I have had my Google Chrome set up to, to delete all cookies every time it closes. I've just done this for years. Originally for IT reasons, because it just signs you out of everything and and it's, it's much easier to test accounts and stuff like that. But uh, you can just set that up and then go to the site, do whatever you need, and then just close Chrome and it'll dump the cookies. Or use a new private, this, this is the kind of stuff private browsing will, will also fix, is you can open a new private browsing, do the, the alpha coder stuff, and then close it and it'll dump the cookies from that session. But still, yeah, I mean, I get it. Some sites are only ad supported. They don't have any, but they need to figure out a pricing plan soon. A big box of Valentine's cookies? Yum, delicious. Aaron Cardboard. Oh, is it only one tier? It's only one tier? Yep. It's only one tier. Do it. Ah, oh, that's so sad. $200 advertised airline fare becomes $500 after fees. Wait, so the fare is 200. Bags and extras, $58. Stupid, but fine. Reserve seats, 40 bucks. Fine, I don't need reserve seats. And then tiny lighter print. Technology development charge. Carrier fee, $120? Technology development for what? Are you directly charging your passengers? for your servers and stuff? Could you not figure out a business model that had profit margin? <laughs> then why'd you advertise the fare? Oh my God. US transportation tax, fine, that one. That one's normal. Passenger civil security fee. I don't know if that's a thing or not. This sounds made up. Passenger facility charge, definitely made up. Segment tax, segment of what? 494, this isn't even close. It should be 258 uh, plus the uh, US transportation tax. So like 270-ish, the end. Burger King app randomly adds $1 to soap total. $16 item total is the only thing in my cart. Subtotal $17. Uh, delivery order, delivery fee a dollar. Okay, fine. Service fee 240. <laughs> Whatever. Tax zero dollars. All right. So that's 17 plus one is 18 plus two is twenty dollars and 40 cents. Where are you saying? Oh, up at the top. Item total sixteen dollars. I'm so sorry. I, I started reading in the middle of the image. Wh wh how did you get from 16 to subtotal 17? What BS is this? And you're calculating based off that subtotal. Like if it was just stupid design where they, you know, we're, we're adding the delivery and stuff. But no. Why am I paying you another dollar? Norton detects itself as a tracking much. At least they're honest. <laughs> Oh my God. I bought a pack of X30 discounts, but can't even use it all before it expires. I still have, uh, oh, I see 25 left. Your transaction wasn't processed. You have reached the maximum number of transactions. Please try again after seven days. Okay, I'm guessing this is some sort of rental, car rental or something like that. But that's, that's a really crazy, he's like, hey, here's something that might be a good deal, but it's actually a bad deal because you can't use it in time. Used a free trial of Adobe Acrobat two months ago in order to edit some documents. Here I am, two months later, still trying to cancel. Social sign-in not supported. Uh, you have previously signed with social account. The application doesn't support social sign-in. To continue, please verify your identity and create a password for your account. I, I'm going to assume you've already done that because yeah, if you hit the, you know, create an account with Google or whatever, that doesn't actually create like a real, account for you it's it's just it creates a link you should still have a regular email and password for every single one of your accounts you can't just use that button for everything but i'm gonna assume you already did that and they're just preventing you from canceling my fortune cookie had an ad inside oh my god is nothing sacred dentine ice pay really paid to to put ads inside of fortune cookies uh 
I hate advertisements so much. If I want something, I will go out and I will look for it. Thank you very much. One of my widgets on my home screen turned into an ad. I don't even have ESPN Plus downloaded. Do you have a Verizon phone? Because Verizon phones are really bad about the whole ESPN Plus. It's so annoying. Do, do you have... How are you getting custom icons on iOS? Do you have a jailbroken phone? Or is this just an Android skin? I'm so confused. <laughs>